Hidden amidst the forests and swamps, the German Nazi extermination camp SS Sonderkommando Sobibor was to forever remain a secret. Similarly, the fate and identities of Jewish deportees from all over Europe were to be forever forgotten. But an uprising broke out in the camp on 14 October 1943 and some prisoners survived. That day, one of the revolt's leaders, Alexander Pecherski, addressed the others with the words Let the world know what happened here. This is how we fulfill the testament of those who survived and those who were murdered at the camp. This is the museum and memorial in Sobibor. The new museum building houses the exhibition that describes the history of this place, the genocide perpetrators and their victims, the Jewish women, children and men. Deported to Sobibor, they were stripped of their belongings, shaved and murdered in the gas chambers. Some were spared during preliminary selections. They worked in various workshop barracks or as servants to the SS criminals stationed at the camp. At the heart of the exhibition lies the display case. Inside, we present over 700 items that were unearthed during archaeological excavations. Most of them are the personal belongings of the victims. Just like a watch that symbolically stopped when its owner's life was brutally ended. Keys to the apartments they hoped to return to. The new museum's aim was also to show the camp at its original location. We managed to uncover some structure's remnants. Through extensive research we recreated the camp topography. Our goal was to allow the visitors read the historical landscape to interpret the crime scene and uncover the history rooted in the Sobibur grounds. The Wall of Remembrance goes along the Schlauch, as the assessment named the path along which the victims were herded into the gas chambers building. We have also marked the traces of two barracks, one wherein the deportees were shaved and the other that housed Zonderkommando, a strictly isolated group of prisoners who were forced to empty the gas chambers. The visitors can identify these structures' locations and learn about their history, discovering the events in the spot where they actually happened during World War II. This also applies to the foundations of the gas chambers building. Its layout and size are now visible even though the assessment destroyed it with explosives. The museum in Sobibur is also a memorial. One of our primary tasks during its creation was to secure the area of the mass graves where the victims' ashes rest. It is the place where all visitors, and especially the victims' and survivors' descendants, can pay homage to those murdered in Sobibur during the Holocaust. The museum and memorial in Sobibur is a place of homage, remembrance, historical and social education. A place where we restore the identities of those who were to remain anonymous and forgotten. For remembering the tragic history of the Holocaust and what hatred or prejudice leads to has never been this important. <laughs>